All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving a word problem involving inequality. So in this problem, uh, there's, there's, suppose you have two options. You're going to rent a car, and either option A charges you 25 bucks a day and 5 cents a mile, or option B charges you $0 a day, but they charge you a lot more per mile. They charge you 70 cents per mile. And we want to know how many miles must one drive in one day for option A to be cheaper. Because certainly, right, originally, if you're only going to drive a few miles, better to pay the 70 cents a mile and not have to pay this $25 a day. <clears throat> so we're trying to figure out here, when is the cost of option A? We want that to be less than the cost of option B. Okay, well let's think about option A. Suppose, so we'll let x here denote the number of miles driven in one day. So if you drive x miles, how much would it cost to use option A? Well, you've got to pay that initial $25 plus you pay 5 cents per mile. So we'll just take 0.05 times x and that'll give us the, you know, the, the total number of the cost incurred by driving x miles. Okay, option B though, okay, we don't have any upfront costs like we did here, but it is going to cost 70 cents per mile. Okay, and now we've got a nice little, uh, just simply a nice little um, linear inequality to solve. So, all right, the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm simply going to, I think I'm going to put the x's on the left side. Um, well, let's put them on the right. So minus 0.05x minus 0.05x. So we have 25 less than, okay, so 0 0.70 minus 0.05 is 0.65x. And now all we're simply going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 0.65. And that's going to give us our answer. So if I take 25 and divide it by 0.65 I'm getting that to be 38.46 miles so maybe uh, assuming you have to drive I don't know well let's just leave it at that um, so suppose they charge you based on you know the fraction of the mile that you drive it says basically if you drive uh, a little bit over 38 miles almost 38 and a half miles if you drive more than that in one day, it's going to be cheaper to use option A.